Good morning. Welcome back to my workshop in New Jersey after nearly four years where I had this guitar here. It's a Hauser 1933. I was performing a bridge setup on it, bridge modification. And uh, I noticed the guitar had uh, some uh, flat frets from the previous uh, setups. And the, the guitar had intonation problem because of that. I will explain to detail, but let's look at the guitar first. I noticed the flat fret back in October 2011. And the owner of Virginia Luque had some issues during recording because of the intonation so we're gonna take care of the problem uh, today and have a close up on the bridge a little bit lower from here from this level The comment was saying, it said that it's not enough this breaking angle for the guitar what I did to project properly and push down the bridge to the soundboard and create a sound. It's very true, but it's a lot better than, than what it was before I did the modification. And uh, the other comments don't really say anything, just the thumbs down. So. Let's do the positive thing now. The guitar has clearly problems with the frets because they're flat. And for me to better explain that to you is uh, I made a little drawing here. It is the proper fret. It is a crown which is round. When you press the string down it's touching the fret and the center of the crown. If the frets were filed by the previous luthiers in those many years, the fret became flat from filing like this. And they're so low, less than one millimeter high, that it cannot be recrowned in that shape. It's just too low. When you press the strings, it's touching the fret here at the beginning instead in the center. So this distance the fret is two point one millimeter on average. So now we are two point one millimeter wide and the, the string is touching here. So we're missing that one millimeter. More than one millimeter. This distance from the saddle is one millimeter less, therefore it affects the intonation. The other uh, factors to uh, affect the intonation is also, also fret spacing. The distance from the first fret is in this case zero fret to the twelfth fret. You multiply the distance by two and compensation of two millimeters approximately. The shape of the saddle, the distance to the nut, fret spacing, all that affects the intonation. And of course in this case we're gonna make it better. We're gonna refret the guitar, make sure we have nice crown after the refret and the guitar will be good to go for a uh, many years. I want to show you demonstrate how, it, how it's like to pull out one fret. I use a chisel, the other side of the chisel, loosen it up both sides use small pliers Grab the end, lift it up. The shade here. Then I have this neat plate with the groove or the 
tang of the thread. And push it further and further. The thread is out. It's not as easy as it looks because I have done it so many times. Sometimes the threads are glued in, so you solder in a heat lamp or iron, you heat up the thread and do it the same fashion. This is how I do it and it works. And as you see, it's pretty neat. So it took me about uh, two half days to do this job. I took extra time. Normally I do refreads in one entire day. But I took extra time and I didn't want to take any chances. I'm filling in the thread ends. Sorry I couldn't see, show you the actual job. It's not a pretty sight to see a uh, pound in the frets with the hammer and a guitar like that, but it has to be done. These, these frets were pressed in, these you have to prop from the inside and uh, install them with a fret hammer, which I will show you. It's a special hammer, which has the silicon top and uh, the other end is brass for threading. The threads now have crown as they're supposed to have and they are this is a digit caliper they are about 1.4 millimeters tall 1.39 give or take. Before the threads were, I'm talking about this height, the thread height, it was 0.79 millimeters on average, which is very poor. Now we have it at uh, this height now. is uh, 1.4 millimeters. I use European Dunlop thread wire. And uh, if you want to listen to the guitar, the sound of the guitar, uh, you can visit Virginia's website. I will mention the address and uh, I hope to see you next time when I have some vintage guitar in my workshop. Thank you for watching.